All right guys, I'm gonna show y'all how to not destroy your cars when you're trying to have some fun with them. Revival GT here. Um, by the way, I do have some merch now. The link's gonna be in the description. I think it looks really cool. If y'all wanna uh, support your boy, that would be really cool too. And let's get into this. All right, so what is the difference between traction control and stability control? So now, pretty much all of us, yeah, as car enthusiasts, we think we have a general understanding of, of what they are, but you're probably gonna be surprised. <laughs> um, traction control is basically a caveman, and stability control is like Elon Musk. So, sorry about that, my wife came out here and just made fun of me for making a YouTube video. But, um, so yeah, traction control is basically a caveman, stability control is like Elon Musk, that is how big of a difference there really is between the two. So, let's get into traction control. So traction control is pretty much, you know, it's a feature that all modern cars have, but it is pretty primitive, right? Um, pretty much how it works is by measuring wheel spin. If it detects that one wheel is spinning much faster than the others, then it's going to apply brake pressure to that one wheel to slow everything down. All right, so that's traction control. That's, it sounds pretty simple, you know, that, because it really is. Um, here's, here's the complicated stuff. This is stability control. So now stability control is like the big brother of traction control. It uses a sensor in your steering wheel to detect what angle you have it at and compares that to, like, to the position of your wheels, make sure that everything is still in line. It also utilizes a yaw sensor and what yaw is, is it is detecting how if your car is doing this right or that so it's y'all is basically side to side it's like a twist um so it, it's looking for that it's trying to detect that to see if you know if you are coming around like that um on top of that it also uses a three axis accelerometer to detect acceleration in any given direction so it's it's measuring this 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 and this <laughs> so it's measuring all of those things and making sure that everything is being equalized and that the car is happy so now whenever any discrepancy is found by any of those sensors it's going to apply braking pressure to straighten that wheel out so if it's you know if you're coming around this way it's going to to apply braking pressure to the wheels that are spinning faster to straighten it out now, both of these systems run together. Uh, they are integrated into one another, but they can be disabled independently depending on your vehicle. One thing to realize is that nine times out of 10, if you turn your stability control off, it's not actually all the way off, um, but it does disable a huge portion of it to where you do have a lot more control of the car. Now, when should you use traction control or stability control, or when should you disable them rather. This is where people mess up. Uh, we've all seen the, you know, the videos of people peeling out and you know, smacking a curb, and uh, there's two reasons for that. One of them is that they didn't have traction and stability control off. Two is they just, they just can't drive. <laughs> so they did have those things off, they just don't know what they're doing. Could be either one, but, um, don't let that be you. <laughs> like practice with your car, make sure that's not you. But now when you turn those off, when to turn them off depends on what you want to do with the car. So like for me, I just like to turn everything all the way off every time I get in the car. And I just like knowing I can do whatever I want with my car when I want to. Now, if you just want to rip a fat burnout, you know, traction control off, it'll probably be just fine. Um, if you're trying to get sideways, turn stability control off and that, that'll allow you to do that more safely without it trying to correct you and then you end up you know taking out a crowd or or whatever also guys look when when you're driving in the rain please don't try to be a hard ass <laughs> leave leave everything on unless you're in a parking lot just trying to do donuts like in the rain you know you're Honestly, you're straight up stupid if you turn it off in the rain, is that you're just asking to wreck your car. Um, anyway, guys, that's that's it. That's, that's the difference between them. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope you guys learned some stuff. 
Um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. And don't forget to check out my, my shirts and stuff in the description. And I love you guys. And be safe.